good morning today we are going to see the process instrumentation dynamic and control first of all we have to know about the what is the general purpose of instrumentations it is the successful completion of the process with the growth of continuous manufacturing and need for continuous measurement of pressure temperature level flow etc among this the instrumentation you have to measure the what is the principles of measurement and the classifications of process the classifications of process are to measure the temperature pressure fluid flow liquid weight weight flow rate viscosity ph concentration electrical and thermal conductivity and the humidity of the gas and next we have to see the what is the classifications of process the classifications of process is divided into two categories one is direct measurement and is indirect measurement first of all the direct measurement is in this case the purpose and the meaning of measurement are same the mean of the the meaning of the measurement is determination of the physical value and the purpose of measurement is to generate the physical value of the medium of which the variable is to be measured it is in the direct measurement and the indirect measurement in the case the meaning of the measurement and the purpose of the measurement are different but they are related with the each other and what are the elements of the instrument an instrument is a device which is a device used for determining of the values of measured variables it's nothing but of the essential functions of the instrument or transmission of the information of the measured variable to the comparator to the transmission lines for converting the measured variable into a corresponding indication is nothing but of the, there is a different element this is primary element secondary element which are manipulating elements on the function this is a primary element in this part of the instrument which has the first to utilize the energy from the medium from which the variable is to be measured and produce a conditions to represent the value of the measured variables of the control system and next it's the secondary system the secondary system is there the, uh, the in this part of the instrument the condition useful for the function of the instrument is produced by the conversion of the condition produced in the primary element and next is the manipulating element manipulating element in this part of the instrument give the function of the instrument is preferred performed based on the conditions of the secondary element and last one is the functioning element in this part of the instrument signaling comma transmitting and indicating and recording is the performed for the control system and next what is the principles of measurement temperature is a fundamental parameter used to control the plant and the temperature is to measure of hardness or coldness of the substances and the temperature measured of the body indicates whether it will be loss or gain the heat from the other bodies next it is the temperature is a measure of the degree of the heat and the temperature is a measure of thermal energy in a body which is related to the hardness or coldness of the medium and is normally measured in degree which is one of the following scale is nothing but of fahrenheit celsius rankine kelvin and is the absolute zero is temperature in which all the energy of the molecule is zero and the fahrenheit scale was the first temperature scale to gain the acceptance and the two points of reference chosen were 0 to 100 degree where the freezing point of the concentrated salt solutions and in the internal temperature of oxygen. this is event eventually led to the acceptance of 32 degree and the 212 degree which is nothing but of 180 degree range as the freezing and the boiling point respectively of the pure water at one atmospheric pressure and for the fahrenheit scale the temperature of the freezing point and the boiling point of water are chosen by the pressures which water change with the pressure the celsius or the, the centigrade the temperature readings of 0 to 100 degrees and for the freezing and the boiling point of the pure water at 180 and the rankine is nothing but of r notation by the r it is a temperature scale reference to absolute zero that was based on the fahrenheit scale the freezing and boiling point of the pure water are 491.6 degree rankine and 671.6 degree rankine respectively at one atmosphere the kelvin scale is nothing but of k it is reference to the absolute zero but based on the celsius scale also. the freezing and the boiling point of pure water are 273.15 kelvin and 373.15 kelvin the temperature and the heat flow are related by the second law of thermodynamics and the temperature scales there are the temperature scales degree fahrenheit centigrade rank a and the kelvin the temperature scale is based upon the temperature at lower fixed fixed point and the temperature at the upper fixed point the upper fixed point is nothing but of a steam point where the water is boiling under 760 atmosphere pressure and the temperature temperature interval is difference between the temperature of ice point 
and the temperature of steam point is divided into number of equal parts to the graduate the thermometer the different temperature measurement scales that different temperature scales conversion factor is nothing but degree fahrenheit to celsius celsius to the fahrenheit fahrenheit to the rank end and the celsius to the kelvin and the kelvin to the rank end and the rank end to the kelvin next what are the temperature measurement methods there is a four methods one is non electrical methods electrical methods thermoelectrical methods and the pyrometer methods the first one is the non electrical methods in the non electrical means you have see the liquid in glass thermometer the liquid is nothing but of mercury is taken as a liquid here the scale is from uh, different uh, different scale 10 to 100 and the working liquid is nothing but of mercury and the reference point the bulb is at the bottom Let's see the construction and working principles of the liquid in the glass thermometer. The mercury in the glass thermometer shown in the figure. The mercury in the glass thermometer consists of small bore graduated glass tube. It's about the bottom. The bulb containing a mercury at the bottom. The heat is transferred through the bulb to the mercury. It's nothing but a sensing. Sensing. They expand pushing the column. It's nothing but the intensity of the inner molecular activity. They expand pushing the column of the mercury to the higher value in the capillary. The temperature scale. Graduated the indicates the temperature of the body. If the liquid in the glass thermometer have the same principle as the mercury thermometer, the liquid used has the similar properties to the mercury. It's nothing but of high linear coefficient of expansion and clearly visible the non-wetting and the non-toxic. The liquid in the gas thermometer used to replace the mercury thermometer and to extend its operating range. It's nothing but of a difference range. This thermometer gives the accurate value. and the different liquid has a limited operating range is nothing but of different liquid is nothing but of can be used in the liquid gas in xylene ether alcohol etc and next what is the advantages there is a more advantages based upon the gas liquid thermometer they are comparatively cheaper than the other ten temperature measuring difference devices they are handy and convenient to use there is unlike electrical thermometer they do not necessitate the power supply or batteries for charging they can be frequently applied in areas where there is a problem of electricity without the electricity can be used they provide very good repeatability and their calibration remains unaffected there is the whether the advantage takes place in the disadvantages they are considered in the part of the applications involving extreme high or low temperature they cannot be applied in the region where highly accurate result are desirable because it can be oscillation plus or plus or minus as compared to the electrical thermometer they are very weak and delicate therefore they must be handled with extra care because they are likely to be break they cannot provide digital and automated results and the reading temperature via liquid and glass thermometer call from brilliant ice age itself and the and these thermometer display temperature either in the celsius or fahrenheit and there's a temperature conversion could be needed if the temperature reading is wanted in some other scales the application in the liquid and gas thermometer are mainly employed in navy and marine corps in different configurations there is a different ranges up to 0 to 100 or 200 also they also applied in the meteorological and oceanographic applications thank you